life on the Red Horse Ranch. Since Steve Bradford lost out in his attempt to buy the Red Horse Ranch, Alabama has instructed several of the boys to stay close to the house in case of trouble. But he has not told Sam Carter, owner of the ranch, about his suspicions. In the meantime, Alabama has ridden towards Bradford's Bar D Ranch to investigate a rumor that someone has been rustling some of the Red Horse herd. We find several of the boys standing outside the bunkhouse. But I don't know, Alabama should have rolled in long before now. Oh, he'll be packing in. Sure. I reckon he's taking his time looking around over past the Bar D. Well, if what Dan Higgins said is true, that territory ain't so healthy for nobody from the Red Horse Ranch. Oh. If Alabama only rode over to get a look around, and if anybody's really running the brands on our Red Horse cattle, we'll all get a chance to mix mitts with them rustling varmints. Well, if Alabama don't get here mighty soon, I'm riding out after him. I know that. Oh, forget it, fellas. Let's see if we can square, scare away any more rattlesnakes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Riding in now. I guess they've been down looking over the south fence. Well, it looks as though we'd have to begin rounding up soon. The whole herd's got to go on the market. Well, you can't start too soon for me, boss. We'll bring down the snorting longhorns in for you. Yeah, by jolly, I wish I was as spry as I used to be. Uh, I'd go with you. <laughs> Dad really thinks he's getting old. <laughs> well, I ain't exactly a yearling. I guess I'll see if that lazy cook I hired in a weak moment is getting something for a hungry man to eat. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cookie! Are you here already, Mr. Carter? Why, of course I am. Is Chuck ready? Well, it's practically ready. Uh, uh, <laughs> Just as I expected. Well, you get busy. <laughs> that cookie's too lazy to grow fast. Has uh, Alabama come in yet? Uh, no, we wasn't expecting him for a spell. He got on red and rode off looking for strays. Now, we're just singing a little music till Chow's ready. Let's get lined up on another one, Chow. Go ahead, boys. I'll take care of your horse, Miss Rose. Oh, thanks, Cheyenne. <laughs>
Cheyenne looked a little worried. Cheyenne? Oh, Say, worried. that oh. Waddy never worried about nothing. <laughs> but doesn't it seem strange that Alabama isn't in yet? Huh? I noticed he didn't ride out with the rest of you this morning. Oh, Alabama's all right. Yeah, Anyhow, yeah. Red will bring oh, Alabama yeah. in. No need worrying about that. Yeah, Red will bring him in. Well, I'm getting plum jealous of him, having the best bronco on the Red Horse Ranch. Well, but he brought him in off the range himself, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know. That's the trouble, having somebody around that's got more horse sense than I have. <laughs> Always beating me to the best horses. Well, I could beat anybody to the chuck house if Cookie ever got chuck ready. <laughs> uh, hand in my guitar, Bob. The only way to forget about my stomach is to sing. Well, again. go ahead, that's Tex. True. Sing me one of your own songs. Sure. Well, I'll do it if it costs Dad the best cow in the lot. <laughs> You're doing it, Dad. On the banks of a lonely river, 10,000 miles away, I have a dear old mother whose hair has turned to gray. Last night I had a And she spoke of our dear old mother How I wish that she was near So blame me not for weeping Oh, blame me not, I pray For I want to see my mother She's 10,000 miles I never can forget her As she gave me a parting hand And she said, may God ever bless you We may never meet again Last night I lay asleeping I dreamed a pleasant I dreamed I heard Mother kneeling on praying there for me. So blame me not for weeping. Oh, blame me not, I pray. For I want to see my mother. She's 10,000. Looks like Cookie ain't making any headway up there in the chuck house. Maybe we'd all better start singing with Tex. <laughs> Say, I'd rather hear you boys sing than eat any day. Go ahead, all of you. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, Cheyenne. The boys are just getting ready to sing another song. Yeah, I got your pony on the saddle, Miss Rose. Oh, thanks. Bust the corral gate, though. Oh. Uh, uh, mind, help me fix it, Bob. Yeah, we can get at it after chow if you're in a hurry. Oh, uh, well, I, I think we better get it done now. Oh, oh, but not now, Cheyenne. Well, if you don't mind, Miss Rose, one of the saddle horses might get out. Oh. Go ahead oh. with your song, fellas. Come on, Bob. Yeah, That's cool. funny. <laughs> Seedy while holding down my claim, and my fiddles are not always served the best. And the mice play shyly round me as I nestle down to rest in the little old sod shanty on my claim. Powerful strange you'd want to fix that fence right now, Cheyenne. It ain't that, Bob. I tell you something's happened to Alabama. I didn't want to say nothing in front of Miss Rose. Well, I've got the same feeling. Alabama shouldn't have ever started over there alone. A cattle rustler just as soon kill a man as look at him. Well, we've got to get back and get Miss Rose to the house and then ride out and find him. Well, I've kept my horse saddle just looking for trouble like this. Well, let's get back. We can't waste a minute. Cheyenne, 
time did you and Bob get that lot gate fixed already? Why, uh, Miss Rose used to see it. Oh, oh listen. Hey, hey, what in tarnation is that? Some boss is Ralph Loco again. Why, it's Red, Alabama's boss. Red. Red. Where's Alabama? He was riding Red. Well, acts like he's trying to kick the gate down. I'll open the gate. What? Come on, boy, come on. Hey, uh, oh, look, Whoa. look, he won't go in the gate. Oh, Whoa. I know something's Whoa. happened to Alabama. Whoa, Whoa. Red, Whoa. Here. Oh, I can't do a thing with this for me. He won't go in the corral, he won't do nothing. Well, here, let me talk to him. He knows me, I think. Red. Steady now. Quiet down, old boy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get tenderfoot, Tenderfoot, put a saddle on Prince, quick. I'm going on red. But Rose, look out! Oh, oh, oh I couldn't hold him. What's happened here? Oh, Dad, it's red. He just came in and Alabama's not with him. Hey, get my horse, Arizona. Rose, where are you going? With you, please, Dad. Oh, you get in the house. Cheyenne, you come along with me. The rest of you... But, but Dad... Oh, there goes red. We better follow him. Let's go. Well... That's that. How would you boys like to be treated like babies? How about us? We didn't get to ride with him either. Yes, just because you had to stay here with me. Oh, now what's wrong with you, Cookie? You know what happened down here? Somebody been hurting you, Miss Rose. No, Cookie, it's Alabama. Dad and the boys are riding out to find him. Here I goes to. Oh, Someone oh, give me a resolve. Oh, I'll cookie, now, don't. Hey, Cookie, come on back here. You think that burr of yours could keep up with a horse? So he could. Yeah. Once he get going, he gets well, going, wind yeah. can run yeah. like light. I never saw that burrow run in my life. Cookie, yeah. get back to the house and see that some coffee's ready. Here they come, riding back. Why, oh, they're bringing them. someone in. Oh, and Red's still with them. Yeah. Is, oh, yeah. is that Alabama? Come on in, now, just give me a hand. Oh, Dad. Yeah. Take him in the house, boys. Well, well, now, oh, easy. Oh, easy oh, with him, oh. now. Oh, it is Alabama. He's hurt. Red saved Alabama. What happened? Is Alabama badly hurt? What has he to tell? Let's be listening. 